What's up, DCG Elite? Welcome to DCG Compounded. Today, we're going to start off by loading our KuCoin account. You can do the same thing with a Binance, FTX, Mexi, or even Bit, what, Bybit, I believe. But I'm going to show you how to deposit inside of your KuCoin account. So we just created an account to start with, brand new, very fresh. And we're going to come over here. And we want to go to deposit. Now, you have an option to deposit cryptocurrency or to buy using your Visa. To use your Visa, you will have the KYC right here for KuCoin. So if you have another way that you're already purchasing crypto or you have somewhere else where your crypto is being held, maybe you want to just deposit cryptocurrency so you don't have to, you know, KYC on this platform. I'm going to go ahead and deposit Bitcoin and I'm going to use Cash App to do so. So coming over here to our deposit screen on KuCoin. They give me the option of using USDT, but I'm going to choose Bitcoin. Why? Because that's all I can purchase from Cash App. I'm going to buy about $300 worth and I'm going to send it over here. We're going to be using the Bitcoin network. And they give me the option to edit which account I want to send it into. So a lot of people don't like having to send it into their main account and transfer it over to their whatever uh, other account. You can just change it right here, right now to your trading account. And now we have an address that we'll be able to send our Bitcoin directly into our trading account. This way, we can swap it into USDT immediately and move it into whichever account we want to start trading from. In our next video, I'm going to be explaining the difference in trading from each account. But right now, we just want to focus on actually deposit and how we can withdraw once we start making money. So let me stop this for a second. Okay. Now we want to move on with actually purchasing our Bitcoin so that we can sit it into our account and start trading. If you have never started your um, Cash App account before or enabled your Cash App before, you're going to get this sign to verify your identity. This is where you actually go through the KYC process. They're going to black out my screen if I try to show you, so I won't be able to demonstrate that. But simply hit click started and answer the questions accordingly. You know, they will even ask you to provide a bill and a picture of your ID. So just follow all the directions so that you can enable deposits and withdrawals. Once you enable your deposits and withdrawals, we want to go ahead and buy at least about $300 worth, right? Well, $310. i am just accounting for the amount that's going to come up missing, you know, through transfer and transactions. So, so I can have a little $300 in my account to make sure I make it. I'm going to buy $310. And of course, they're going to make you go through your codes and your privacy. So we'll go ahead and type that. And once you accomplish that, you have your $300 in Bitcoin purchase. From there, you hit that arrow. On this arrow, we want you don't have the money sign, swap it to BTC and type the number that you have above exactly point for point 0046421. We want to type in the exact amount that we want to be sending into our account. Right, I only twenty dollars in it right now, but that will read three hundred and ten dollars for you. We're gonna hit the send button, and of course, we're gonna do the verification process. And well, you know what? I'm gonna show you on the other screen where we can scan our code so that we can send this directly to our wallet. Okay, so I'm actually using two devices, so I'm gonna go back to my KuCoin screen. That way. I can scan my QR code and send the money directly here, right? Let me scroll up a little bit. So I hit the arrow. I hit the numbers in the corner and I scan my QR code. And just like that, it gave me the exact amount I'm gonna need so I can send. And like I was saying before, I'm gonna type in that amount, every number in detail, just as we've seen written down. So 0 0.0071564. And I'm sending it. Verifying by typing in my code. I'm going to use priority. So it's being sent in 10 minutes. And you're going to get a code that comes up with insufficient Bitcoin balance. This is just because you're using the, the maximum amount, not taking in consideration the network fee. So I'm just going to go ahead and confirm and send. Let me know it's going to take a couple of dollars to send it. And your initial withdrawal is done. So my $300 is now on the way so that we can load this up in our account and get started. 